This is the future. San Dimas, California, 2692. A most excellent society based on the philosophy of the two great ones, Bill and Ted, and the music of their band, The Wild Stallions. My job is to provide the two great ones with the Circuits of Time phone booth, allowing them to travel through time, keeping them on their correct path, a path they must follow to ensure the future of our most excellent society. Society based on the philosophy and lessons learned during Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventures is brought to you by M&M's Chocolate Candies. The milk chocolate melts in your mouth, not in your hand. are really lines, which means the diagonal of a parallelogram can be at a right angle to one of the sides. What are you doing? Uh, we were listening to your most, um, uh, excellent geometric lecture, Mr. Snyder, sir. Where are you now? Would you two please stand up? Tell me, can the diagonal of a parallelogram be at a right angle to one of the sides? I think it's a trick question, Bill. Yes or no? Uh, oh, Mr. Snyder, sir, I believe that a diagonal cannot be at a right angle to one of the sides. That's right. It can only be at the wrong angle. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> a wrong angle. I see. Well, Mr. Einstein, perhaps you'd be so kind as to draw a wrong angle for me. Dude, we totally locked out. He's calling us someone else. By the way, who is this Einstein dude? I think he's that new kid over there. Yeah. Mr. Preston, I'm waiting for my answer. Uh, Mr. Snyder, sir, I thought you were calling on someone else. What's this? It's the poster for the Wild Stallion's first world tour, sir. That's me, and that's Bill. I'm on rhythm. Thank you for pointing that out, Mr. Preston. No way! No way! Mr. Frias is the art teacher, boys. I teach math. But I doubt if I had a hundred years, I'd ever be able to teach you two anything. You two are going to get pop quizzes every day, just like this in front of the entire class, until you actually give me a correct answer. Class dismissed. Ted, you're totally the laughing stock at San Dimas High. Mr. Snyder totally hung us out to dry. Hey, it's the Einstein brothers. <laughs> Dude, we do not appreciate you calling us Einstein. Yeah, particularly since we don't know who he is. Yeah. Oh, man. Ted. Perhaps unraveling the mystery of this Einstein person will help us in our quest not to be called Einstein. Let's ask Glenn Nevis, the smartest kid in school. You will most assuredly know. Glenn Nevis, dude, how's it going? Totally the smartest kid in San Demons High. Yeah, you once got a B plus. Congratulations. I'm late for class. Stop! Don't touch that. Those are mine. Glenn Nevis is a most intense individual. It must be difficult with someone with such a big brain to interact with two such as us. We appreciate how hard this must be for you, Glenn Nevis. But we'd be most grateful if you could answer but one question for us. Yeah. Who's Einstein? Einstein? Who is Einstein? <laughs> Einstein, you lame brains, is only the smartest man who ever lived. Ever. Let me put this in terms you might understand. I am to Einstein, as you two are to me. Whoa. Let me show you something. 
Here's a picture of Einstein. Here he is on the day he delivered his speech about the theory of relativity in 1916. Dude looks like he just woke up. <laughs> Einstein just happened to be the greatest scientist to ever lived. Without him, there'd be no nuclear energy, no computers. Who knows what disasters? I'm late for class. Dude! Dude! Ted, we have to meet this Einstein dude. You are correct, my low aptitude friend. If he is indeed the smartest man who ever lived, he can surely teach us to pass Mr. Snyder's pop quiz. I hope so, or we'll continue to be objects of scorn and ridicule. We can leave tonight after our parents are asleep and be back tomorrow for Mr. Snyder's class at 9 o'clock. Yeah, let's rendezvous at the Circuits of Time phone booth tonight at 10. Einstein. Einstein. Here it is, 1916, the date on the picture. We've got 11 hours to become intelligent. I hope that's enough time. So do I. <laughs>